Hello, and welcome to episode 5 of season 5 of Just a Breezy Chat. We are going through the season so fast. I got, I'm got, i going as fast as I can. School's about to start back, so I'm trying to get as much as I can done um, in everything. But today we're going to talk about a topic that I think is near and dear to me personally. And the fact that we're the strong friends. You know who you are. I am the strong friend. I personally know the strong friend. And trust me, it's exhausting having to always be the strong friend. As to, in the words of Anne Hathaway and um, is it Kate and Kate Hudson in the movies, they were best friends who get married again. You don't have to be strong all the time. So, this is why you don't always have to be strong. So, today... We are going to be talking about, so, today we are, so, let's start off with a definition of what the strong friend is. And a strong friend is someone who is seen as capable, resilient, and able to handle life's challenges without showing distress. They may also be able to um, be the ones to focus on helping others instead of sharing their own problems. However, this doesn't necessarily mean they aren't struggling as their own. What are some assumptions about the strong friend? For example, trust. A strong friendship is built on trust, honesty, and equality. Another assumption is respect. If some friends value each other, Opinions, even if they differ, and they also appreciate the unique qualities. What about communication? What's the assumption there? Well, some friends practice open communication, sharing their thoughts, feelings, and experiences, and they also are good listeners. Another one is shared interests, where some friends have common interests and activities. And then there's support, like strong friends are always there for each other during the good times and the bad, and they provide companionship, joy, and help can help prevent loneliness and isolation. So you're probably wondering, am I a strong friend? What makes me a strong friend? Or is this person a strong friend? Or if you're watching this, like what are some signs that there is a strong friend? Here's some signs. You celebrate each other's su successes. They're recruit left. They're replical. Um Communication is easy. You can't. You can rely on their support. They can also. You also have common interests, and the relationship can evolve. And there's vulnerability. How can you help a strong friend? One way you can help is being a good listener. There is nothing we value more than having a good listener. Even if we don't always say it, we love that. We appreciate that you're a good listener, and you're gonna listen to us. Um, another one is when your friend is sharing your feelings, you listen actively without any judgment. And you can try to let them share it in their own words and ask questions to clarify. You can also respond in a supportive and understanding way. Um, show empathy. Um, I am a, empathy is a hard thing for people. Um. Especially when you're a secret empath, honestly. One of the things I hate most about is because I'm an empath. I hate when I feel everything. It sucks big time. But show empathy to your strong friend. And you can by doing you can show empathy by focusing on their feelings um, and expressing sympathy. Another way is be honest. There is nothing more like we value more than honesty. Um, and if you're worried about a friend, you can explain why in a straightforward way. You can also ask if they've spoken to anyone about how they're feeling. Another one is give encouragement. A good friend can challenge you to be the best self and keep going. And schedule time for friends. Spend time with friends and you can help straighten the bonds and lower the le stress levels. You can also meet up for coffee or a lunch day or call with friends. Here are some things that, phrases that, Strong people hate to hear. Some of these I'm drawing from personal experiences as well. But one of them is, you're superwoman. I get used to get called out all the time. I used to love it, but as like, as the more I 
grew the more I grew to hate it because I don't want to be Superwoman. I don't want to be the strong friend. I'm used to handling all my stuff on my own without any help, and it's hard for me to ask for help. But like, oh my gosh, next one, I'm proud of you. Like, another one is you're so resilient. Oh, this one's my personal favorite. You're forced to be reckoned with. That could be a good thing and a ba good phrase and a bad phrase. You just got it. Just depends on the context and how you're using it. And it's okay to cry. Mm. And you're saying I was told I was raised for if you show cry if you cry that shows how weak you really are. And that's the sad part right there. Like I wasn't given the option on not to be strong. That's the, and I don't think people realize that. Like some of us, we don't have the option not to be strong. We have to, we have to be strong. We can't cry no matter what helps. And here's some things that it's important to remember. It's not an honor or a reward. It can be heavy. It's okay to fall apart. Therapy helps. People aren't always as they seem. And take your moment when you need it. Sometimes you just have to take a moment. Go to a walk-in if you're at work or whatever. Go to that one place and just let it all out. And help your friend. Doesn't matter. They will. They may not say it, but they appreciate you that they know you're helping them right now. And it's hard. And not everyone gets it. Uh, and everything. But... Guys, I just really want you to know that if you're the strong friend, I get it. I'm the strong friend. I'm reaching out. Just don't be afraid to reach out to help your strong friend. You never know what's going through your mind, when they're going to need you. And you can do a lot of research more on the strong friend, like ways you can help them. Especially like, um, they, especially in ways like, you need to understand that um, we're strong because it's not because we don't have a choice. A lot of us are strong because it's the only choice we. Ha it's the only thing we were conditioned to be. What conditioned to be? But I also want to add something in too. That it's what to do. How to. How about when it comes to dating um, a strong person? And I'm coming from this from the perspective of a strong woman. Um, I know the man's perspective is going to be different, but... Here's the thing, like... We, like, as a strong woman, personally, myself, I don't have time for your BS. I really don't. Um, and the sad part is, like, if I need it, if I really need it, I'm not going to ask you for your help. If I'm going to cry, I'm going to wait till you walk out of the room. I'm going to be very stubborn about it. And everything. You just got to remember, patience with strong women are essential. And you just got to know, is all I'm saying. But that is it for this episode. Join me next time as we talk about the power of loving yourself.